from service. Uh, Jack is trying to pass the orals right now. Hasn't really provided much content lately. Uh, and we were friends and met in D.C. a few years back. A little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a foreign service officer stationed in South America. And on the internet nowadays, I see so many videos of people posting about their lives or what they do for a living or whatever, just trying to motivate other people or give them good information. And Jack has such a good website. Um, I also have one too, but his is his is the best in the business, in my opinion. Um, mine's just a blog and you know something to kind of just give you an insight into what this life is like. And that's why I thought to myself, um, you know, I, I need to do a video. I'll post it on my website. But I reached out to Jack and I said, hey, you haven't posted anything in a while. Why don't why don't I you know record something and you can you can use it? So I'm not going to go on and on about this, but one thing I keep seeing with those who are trying to get into the foreign service, the question they have is, should I take the test? I can't express enough that you should just take the test. Number one, it's free. Number two, I know a lot of foreign service officers that it took multiple time multiple times to pass the test, pass the narratives, pass the orals, pass medical. There are so many steps involved with becoming a foreign service officer. If all you ever do is ask yourself if you should take the test, you're never going to get anywhere. Uh, I would say that it's a two-year process. Some people a little less, a little quicker. Other people, it takes longer. But if you really want to be a foreign service officer, you've got to kind of uh, pencil off two years of your time and just see how the process goes. A guy I know that recently got accepted A100 took him nine times. Now, of course, sometimes he didn't pass the written test. Sometimes he didn't pass um, the narratives. Other times he didn't pass uh, the orals. But you just you just got to do it. Um, I'm 36 years old. And when I was growing up, Nike was very popular. I guess Under Armour is popular now with the younger crowd. But Nike's motto, their brand is just do it. So the best piece of advice I can give you without getting into any of the other details is just take the test and keep taking the test. And if you finally get that email that you've been accepted to the Foreign Service, then you can make your life decisions. But I would say just go for it. You can do it. And don't give up if you try once, twice, three times, four times. Like I said, I know a guy took them nine times. The only other last piece of advice I will give in this very generic video about the Foreign Service for those who are starting out is that this is not a job. This is not even a career. This is a life. I, uh, I've been here in South America almost a year now, and last month I went back and I did my rest and relaxation. I went back to where I'm from in Western Pennsylvania, and for 18 days I kind of just did all the stuff I used to love doing and as a part of my regular life, only condensed into you know a two or three week period. And when I got back, it was actually a little emotional. I'm a foreign service officer, and I was in the military, and I would say uh, even more than the military, this is your life. It's not just a job because a lot of times you're on call. You've got to travel to go do stuff within country. Um, there's not typically, especially at smaller posts, I'm in a smaller post, not an embassy, there aren't many officers. So you're really dependent upon to get a lot done. So uh, too long didn't read as they say a lot on Reddit and, and YouTube or on Yahoo and a lot of the different foreign service groups. Take the test and this isn't a job or career, this is a lifestyle. Keep that in mind. I hope this video has been helpful. If I get good feedback on it or Jack gets good feedback on it, then uh, maybe I'll produce and record some more. Uh, my website, robjoswiak.com, I'll, I'll try to put my name here below. And I wish everybody good luck. If it's your dream, keep at it. You can do it. Use the resources on the internet. Of course, Jack's website, you got a time, you can check out mine. I wish you nothing but the best. Good luck.